What's up, everybody? It's Jay Mack, and welcome back to Bigfoot Input. Uh, we're going to dive into another episode. You know, they are not primates that are people. Um, humans are our primates. Yeah, we're, we're all primates. So just, just saying. Anyway, let's get down to it. So uh, let's start here. Let's start here. Somebody took this this picture here of this creature sticking out of the bush here, which I had to take a second look at. So I I got where we could zoom in even better. I mean, it's yeah, you got a face here. And a head shape, which I'm just assuming is pareidolia based on the size of the head. But it, but you can imagine this is like a guy with like one of those medieval metal shrouds and he's like drawing a sword. But yeah, that, that's a tree. That's a root. So kind of cool one, but still just, just a root. Let's keep going down the line so we don't lose anything here. Catherine Norris with just another slam dunk. I mean, so cool. It's one of those uh, not primate guys, but but you can see the eyes there, kind of, and this is your brow ridge right there, hooded nose, lips, and uh, he almost has, yeah, he definitely has like a conical shaped head. His hair is a little, a little weird, but, uh, such a cool shot so we appreciate that from new zealand by the way so. let's see Where is it? so i think i had marked this one for myself as being a pot a, a potential something right because I, I know a couple shots came out of the uh Bigfoot World Camp this week. But this one, where is it? This one. This one's phenomenal. So again, here's your eyes, your cranial ridge, big hooded nose. You can see the lips down there. Kind of a sharp jaw. And then it goes up into the rounded kind of cone shaped head up here at the top and you can see the shoulders and stuff too there um just an, a an excellent shot from kathy westerman um i think what's cool about this one in particular if i'm correct about this it was less of a shot from a video still and it was like a just a shot shot of course she wasn't taking a picture of the creature she had no idea it was there um because that's how they do but he's just hiding in the woods there watching all the goings on so very cool shot. This was kind of just lingering online as, you know, no one really said who took the picture. It's just, you know, labeled as a skinwalker. But, of course, everything is. You know, anything that's unidentifiable is a skinwalker. So, I don't know. You know, you want to call it skinwalker. You want to call it rake. Um, it's pretty terrifying, whatever it is. That doesn't make it real, but it doesn't make it fake either. So I don't see like tamperings of AI or, you know, even Photoshop really. It, I, I don't know. I don't know if that's real or not. I'm going to have to put that in that category where I just, yeah, I'm not sure. So. I welcome you guys' opinion, but I don't know on that one. Oh, let's see. Make sure we're getting everybody here. If you're done. Rebecca Rollison um, says there was a strange fog in the area. And caught this. Now, 
I'm not going to speculate what this is exactly because it doesn't necessarily look like Bigfoot Sasquatch type of thing to me. Um, but it looks like something. That, that's the thing. It's like, it looks like something we should at least look at, but I don't know what it is. I mean, it's interesting. I don't know what part of this photo it comes from, though. I didn't research that ahead of time. But this is the photo, and I think this is the zoom in. So anyway, still cool. Thank you, Rebecca. Bigfoot world. Catherine North, um, if you're not part of the Bigfoot Believers and Other Creatures group, you know, you should be, as well as the uh, Bigfoot world uh, on uh, Facebook. And uh, Bigfoot world has a YouTube as well. So anyway, go check them out. But so, you know, Catherine sa is saying, you know, two faces blending and coming into view and stuff like that i try to stay on the logical side of things so i i'm just gonna you know look at what i see um i see where she's coming from because you definitely have two distinctive looking faces here but so you have like the eye here a nose here eyebrow and then it goes off into sort of a squared off head there's nothing else right and the other eye is here but my issue with that is that the other eye is the mouth of this guy. It very much looks like a painting of some kind. It's not, but it looks like that way. So I'm thinking that this here, just this area right here, is, is pareidolia, right? It's part of this bush, this foliage bit right here. But this face right here, seems more legit to me again i don't know what of it's a little disembodied but you definitely have these large eyes you have a very large nose and a mouth down here you can clearly see the two lips and you have this distinctive jawline it has a chin right here so you know i don't know what it is but it's very cool Catherine always has great shots. Again, from New Zealand. Thank you, Catherine, for submitting these pictures. I didn't mark this one, but I, I, happen, I know this is Catherine as well. Um, she just has tons of great pictures. I can't resist grabbing them. So, you know, I there, there, hooded nose, his mouth is covered by foliage this is all foliage here but you can see his cheeks there he has this conical shaped head i mean is this a dot is he wearing some sort of uh, like ceremonial headdress sort of thing i wouldn't put that out of any range of possibility these creatures are a little more than animal you know so they have a little understanding of things. But anyway, something's going on right there. I think that's cool. I think that might be some type of dress. We've seen things like that in the past. It's not unheard of. We've we caught that the one Bigfoot that had some sort of red, like, um, I don't know what it was, something in its fur, you know, like a feather maybe. And then, of course, you know, Kathy Westerman's uh, uh, famous uh, skunk ape, in my opinion, has a ponytail. Uh, so we've seen this sort of thing before, is my point. Wearing glasses and such, anything they find out in the woods. Uh, Dennis Herstad, let's talk about him. Um, I don't know what this is, but it was very compelling, and I had to, I had to put it up here because it's just so weird. You know, you've got this sort of oval eye here and you've got a little sharp nose there and very clear lips right here and then that's all tied into this head but when you get down to the jawline watch the jawline be it's really sharp like really sharp right there boom so um hmm. all i can say is that it looks like an alien and that's all i can say i don't know 
what else it is or is not. But it's weird, and that's what we do. Another one from Dennis right here. Got a pretty obvious face, you know, in the in the, the trees here, eye there, eye there. And the eye itself has a little ring around it. I don't know why. Fur, I guess, like, you know, distinctive markings, that sort of thing. You got a hooded nose, and then it gets kind of choppy down here and pixelated with the mouth and stuff like that. But it's, it's definitely a face of what? I'm not 100% sure, but... But still, very cool submission. Thank you, sir. Um, this one here is an so This is a, a RMSO. Uh, if you've never heard of those guys, check them out. They're they're excellent. They do a lot of a lot of good reporting and stuff like that. So, large hominid chest and shoulder captured on game cam after Canuck chase Bigfoot encounter. Let's take a look at this um, trail cam. Sixty-two degrees. New camera AM. Four o'clock in the morning, June two thousand twenty-two. So what we're supposed to be seeing here. If you follow my cursor down this dark crevice right here on the side of the picture, this would be the creature's left arm. Bicep here. Forearm. Very large forearm right there. And then on the whole left side of the picture would be right here. See how this line creates here? This is, uh, I guess you would consider this the sternum. This being the uh, pectoral. And the ribs here and then of course over there you got the other other pectoral and but you can definitely tell like the muscle definition right down the middle and we're going up into a throat area but that's all you can see so i don't know guys it's kind of cool i mean i you know it kind of looks real you know it's a lot of definition there i know it's a crappy trail cam you know picture but it, there is a lot of definition in that picture that that little picture tells a lot of you know a lot of stories you know so i think it's cool i think that's very possibly real and i do believe that we're going to close it out with um someone kind of new to our channel uh whisper walkers uh shell dion so What I'm seeing here is is, is a, it's a Sasquatch, right? It's a Bigfoot type creature. You know, I don't think I'm not really sure what Shell believes this creature to be, but because they have Whisper Walkers has pictures of various creatures. So that being said, I don't think that this is supposed to be a dog man or anything like that. But what I'd like to do mentally is sort of black out this area here. Only because I think it's just film exposure, but it takes away from the face of this creature, which is here. And here's the head, conical shaped, all the way up and around, comes straight down into the shoulder. You know, not a lot of neck, which is common. Bicep there, you know, down to the arm and then so on. And then you've got the actual face lining here. Inset eyes. And, of course, he's got this large grass-type material right over his face, which is, you know, the way they like to do. And so, unfortunately, it takes away from a lot of the detail of the rest of the picture. But you can see the other eye there, cheekbone here, and then everything else is kind of up for grabs, unfortunately. But that's just the way they like to hide. So, Shell, great picture. Thank you for that one. There might be something else going on back there, but you know, I don't like making assumptions like that. But I'll tell you what, if I if I was if I had to, I'd be like, yeah, maybe. Maybe something here and there and there. 
I don't think that dark spot is just dark, for, you know, for the sake of being dark. I think that might be something with it. But anyway. Hey, guys, it's J-Mac post edit. Uh, thank you guys for joining us tonight. I know we've seen a lot of cool pictures, but I had to stop and and get this picture into this video before we launched this video tonight. Okay, so I just I was mind blown by this picture and I had to make sure it was it was on this video for you guys. So this is, you know, Kathy Westerman, Bigfoot World. No shocker, you know, that she's got yet another picture that I just consider mind blowing. So and uh and of course you gotta throw a shout out to uh Miguel. Uh the guy just he has an incredible eye for things and spotted this in this picture. So anyway. Here's the picture, right? This is why, this is my answer when people are like, why don't we ever see a Bigfoot? We walk in the woods all the time. Or, you know, hunters. And you hear it too, like hunters are like, I've been hunting for 30 years, I've never seen a Bigfoot. But I've also heard the flip side of that coin where like, I was hunting for 30 years and I never saw a Bigfoot until. All right, here we go. You see it yet? I got a better picture. Hang on. Look at that dude. I, I, big tree, conical shaped head, little nose right there, and there's your jawline with the big mouth right there shoulders you know obviously just full body i mean this <laughs> it's, it's it doesn't get much better than this this is an incredible shot this this is this is what i want to I, I tell people like when because i've heard it before the like the the rest of the world is snickering when they hear about bigfoot in florida it just can't happen here it is it's happening it happens every day they are out there. So once again, big thanks to Kathy and Bigfoot World for all the work that they do. I just had to get this one in last minute. I, you guys had to see this. So uh, that's it for me. All right, back to the video. Um, look, guys, thank you for joining us tonight. And uh, at the end of this, I guess we'll see how this premiere thing has gone. <laughs> And uh, I want to uh, personally thank all of our supporters and you can support the channel by being a member of the channel on YouTube like these guys, or you can be a Patreon, one of them be part of our Patreon community. Um, so we appreciate that support. And, you know, as a thank you, we throw a little extra content towards those members uh, content that we don't feel comfortable sharing on YouTube. So uh, anyway, that's it for me, guys. All right. So this is J Mac and I'm out.